And the EPA is looking to do more to prevent methane leaks. As you might know, New Mexico is at one time the methane hotspot in the country. We wondered how this will affect our state and the companies who operate here. News 13's Ariana Kraft got some answers. In the past, researchers identified one of the largest methane hotspots in the country in northwest New Mexico, the Four Corners area. Methane, unfortunately, is a very potent greenhouse gas. It is 86 times more potent over a 20-year period than even CO2. Most of the methane hotspots came from the result of natural gas leaks. And in many areas of New Mexico, schools, homes, and businesses are located near oil and gas extraction sites. They complain of the smell, sometimes the impact on the water, and certainly the impact on the air. Now with the new rule proposal, the EPA wants oil and gas operators to pay closer attention to methane leaks before they get worse. They require more frequent leak detection and repair where you actually have to go out with an infrared camera and take a look and then repair those leaks if they're occurring. So that's really important. The new EPA rule also gives community members the opportunity to help make sure these operators are complying where communities can report these big emitters and really see some responsiveness from the agencies. Many Republicans in Congress have called the proposed changes a costly burden. This is a final draft rule and will be open to public comment through mid-February. Once those public comments are made, the agency will consider those comments. They'll decide whether to strengthen some last key aspects of the rule. Ariana Kraft, KRQ News 13. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's office says her administration has been in close communication with the EPA about the proposal. We tried contacting the New Mexico Oil and Gas Association for their take on the proposal, proposed rules, what it could mean for energy prices, but we did not hear back.